The 101st Airborne Division continues fighting the good fight in Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, the next in Ubisoft's series of strategic squad-based World War II shooters. New features like destructible cover and improved AI help move these brothers into the future. But have they kept up with the next-gen arms race? When do I get to drive? When the army hands out tractors. <laughs> In the newest Brothers in Arms, the path in front of you is Hell's Highway. The historical backdrop is Operation Market Garden, an ambitious but ultimately flawed plan to cross the Rhine and plunge into the heart of Germany. You're given the role of Matt Baker in order to lead a recon squad on the front lines of the operation. You'll need to have played the earlier games to get the full impact of the story. Still haunted by the deaths of comrades from past games, Baker presents the player with a troubled reflective story that seeps into the gameplay experience as well as the cutscenes. Well-delivered lines and a serious, respectful tone give the storytelling some actual gravity, and you're likely to get something out of it. This is pretty rare in the medium. What is it that makes a great soldier? Is it his brain or his heart? Yes, sir! Jasper, bring up the bazooka! Frankie! Hell's Highway hits a halfway point between being a strategy game and a shooter, with a first-person view and the ability to direct multiple squads on the battlefield from that same first-person perspective. The result is a game with a more strategic pace that rewards thinking things through and discourages charging ahead, guns blazing. Circles appear over enemies, changing from red to gray as they take fire from your squads. A full gray circle means an enemy has been suppressed and it's safe to move, while a full red circle means the enemy is ready for you to stick your head out so they can blow it off. Paying attention to this system is important, and the overall design emphasizes the need to suppress and then flank your enemies, but crack shots are still able to drop enemies with headshots. The game actually describes each firefight as a combat puzzle, turning each one into basically a set challenge you have to overcome before moving on to the next. You have some degree of freedom in how you take on each battle, but for the most part, it's a linear experience with set enemy positions and cramped areas. At set points, the game breaks off into solo play, isolating you from your squads for a more traditional experience, sniper sequence, or tank power trip. While different, these sequences aren't as well executed as the core gameplay. The single player campaign is the obvious focus of Hell's Highway, but online multiplayer is also a part of the package. The word strategic definitely needs to be emphasized with Brothers in Arms, and patience is as essential to your success as ammunition. The majority of the game, you'll take up a protected position, suppress the enemy, and leapfrog your way around the battlefield to gain a decisive advantage. There are very few instances where you'll want to do anything without digging in first. The game's cover system lets you hunker down next to just about anything. If soldiers are behind something durable, they're likely to stay alive. On the other hand, destructible cover can be exploited, machine gun fire can easily chew through a fence, and your bazooka team can often punch a hole in your enemy's defense. Commanding your squads is the second secret to success. Groups like assault team, base of fire team, bazooka team, and machine gun team are at your disposal from the start of the game. And if you're not giving them orders, they'll flat out ask you what they should be doing. You have a single cursor to give orders, asking teams to either move to a location or attack a target. It's simple but effective, and nobody needs to be micromanaged. If Jerry is shooting at them, they're smart enough to shoot back at Jerry. The cover system and squad commands are both good and important features, but both have problems. Trying to dig in at some locations results in awkward deaths, and digging in at the wrong spot can completely obscure your view when you pop up to take a shot. And while your squad is generally pretty bright, they'll occasionally run right in front of enemy fire or try to take cover on the wrong side of a wall. As the leader of your unit, it's up to you to pick up the slack. Hell's Highway goes for realism in both its graphics and its storyline and comes up with fairly impressive results. The environments and characters fall well short of photorealism and there are noticeable performance hitches during cutscenes, but the animation and level of detail are convincing enough. While lacking in real standout visual effects, the game uses a graphic kill cam to good effect, showing headshots and explosions in gratuitous slow motion. The Road to Hell does sound ferocious thanks to a very strong sound design. 
Gunshots and explosions pack a real punch, and combat dialogue from your squad modulates from whispers to screams, depending on the situation. Quick, get over there! The Germans don't match your level of camaraderie, instead screaming intermittently with unpleasant voices, but at least they do it in German and not corny accented English. When music comes into play, it's with an appropriate mix of emotion and bravado. Hell's Highway is a polished, coherent experience that, despite a few setbacks, remains engaging with interesting mechanics and compelling gameplay. It's also easy to appreciate the respect and authenticity of the game's approach. If you're willing to dig in and weather the difficulty, the journey down this most dreaded road is one worth taking.